Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to replace these kind of boring pictures here inside of Minecraft with much, much better pictures as you see right over there. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And of course, check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft stuff. It's pretty easy to put in new pictures like I have here inside of Minecraft. But you need to know where that file is and how to change the textures for that. Now I'm not going to be going into a big discussion on how to actually make a resource pack in this video. I've done that before and I'll put a link to a good video on how to make a resource pack inside of the description. Let's just focus on doing the actual images here for the paintings. I'll switch over to the desktop. I'll show you how to find the texture file for the paintings and how to change the paintings in that texture file. Okay, here we are on the desktop and I've already downloaded the new vanilla resource pack from the web and I've unzipped that and that's right here. Now if you don't know how to do those steps, take a look at the video I have listed in the description and that shows you all about how to set up one of these resource packs. Okay, to find the paintings, let's go inside the vanilla resource pack, inside of textures right there, and then inside of paintings, and there's just one file and there it is. All of the pictures are contained in this one file. All right, let's now take a look at how I set this thing up. I copied off that textures folder right here. I got rid of everything else in here and just kept the painting folder. And inside here, I just kept that one file. I also made a Photoshop file to work on that one. I'll show you how that is done in just a second here. Of course, I also updated the manifest JSON and changed the description and the name and the description down here. And of course, as always, I changed the UUID codes right there and right there. And I used my own pack icon image. Okay, let's take a look at this actual texture right here, and I'll show you how to change those pictures inside of that texture. For that, I'll be using Photoshop Elements. It's my own personal favorite, but you can use any graphics editor you want. It doesn't matter on this particular project. Anything is just fine, as long as it can save to the PNG file format. And there's that texture file inside of Photoshop Elements. Let me just zoom in on this to fit screen. There we go. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to increase the detail of this. This is too small and the images just look awful in here. So for that, I'll go up here to image, come down to resize image size, and I'll just change this to four times the size, and that's 1024. Leave everything else the same. Now any good graphics program can change the image size just like that. Notice the resolution here is 72. And if you are changing the size, the important step here is to make sure that you're using a technique that preserves hard edges. There will be some kind of an option like this on how to handle the resize. So make sure that you're going for preserve hard edges. Some programs say nearest neighbor and choose OK. That just keeps the edges sharp. That's very important. Let's set this back to fit screen again. All right, now I'm going to bring in those other two pictures and I have them up in here. There's one and let's bring up that other one and that's right there. So bring up your two pictures, whatever they happen to be. And I want to put the pictures right in here in this one and then in that one right down there. All right, here's my pictures. I'm first going to save this file as a Photoshop file. That allows me to work with layers, just makes us easier. And second, I'll put in some guidelines in here so I can then snap those right to position. So let's first go ahead and do our save to. I'll go to file, save as. I'll save this as a Photoshop file and save. Okay, now I can use layers. Let's now put in some guidelines on this. I'll zoom in on these two pictures. There we go. And I'll pull down a guideline for the top picture, top of that picture, which is right there. And then for the line between those two pictures, that's right about right there. And then the bottom of this picture, same thing, just find that bottom spot and put a guideline right there. And then on the two sides, there we go. And the outside. Okay, now that I have the guidelines in, I can easily position my pictures. Go back to fit screen, and I'll bring up my first picture, which is this one. I'll just grab this and drag it over here. Again, a nice feature here of using a program like Photoshop Elements is that you can easily bring your images in like that just by dragging them over. So here's our first one. Obviously, it's too big. It's a lot larger than everything in behind, so I'm going to grab the corner up here, and I'll shrink this down until it's the right size which is down like this someplace. I'll put this here in this bottom spot and I'll pull that up. And then inside of Photoshop Elements, it will snap into position. Choose OK. And that looks like it's pretty well centered. It's a little bit right here on the left hand side. I don't want to have all just make a selection over that and delete that little bit. There we go. OK, that one's in place. 
Let's bring in our second picture now. And that's the wolf right here. Pull that one in. Same exact trick. I'm just going to grab the corner and shrink this image down until it's the right size. There we go. And get them basically in position here and get it just to the right size, which is right there. And then kind of centered. That looks pretty good. And then same thing. I'll just select that bit outside and delete that so it fits in that area right there. Okay, now if I zoom in, and these are going to be a little bit soft because we did do that resizing. So I want to sharpen these up just a touch. We'll do the wolf first. That's this layer up here. And on that one, that's enhance and adjust sharpness. And I'll set the amount here at 50%. Should be pretty good for this. That looks good. Choose OK. There it is. A little sharper is better than a little less sharp inside of Minecraft because everything is so sharp inside of Minecraft. You want to have this really kind of crisp or it looks really fuzzy. Okay, let's come down to our picture right down here. Same exact steps. Back up to enhance. Come down to adjust sharpness. It should say the same thing. Yep, 50%. There we go. And that's all set to go. Okay, those are all in there. Back to fit screen. You can then get rid of those guides if you want to. I'll just clear those guides out. And we've now done that. We've now replaced those two pictures, and they will now show up in the game properly, just like you saw in the demo. Okay, all we need to do now is just to save this out on top of the original image, and then save that out as a texture pack. So, let's just go up here to File. I'll first just say this will save it as the Photoshop file. That will save my layers in case I want to change any other pictures in the future. So I have this one image to work with. And then I'll do it as a PNG file. So Save As. Set this to PNG. It'll go right on top of the original. Choose Save and Yes. And there we go. That's all done. Okay, let's go back to the desktop. There we go. So to finish this off, I'll just need to take the Textures folder, my updated manifest.json, the pack icon PNG file right here, zip those together, and then change that zip extension to MC Pack, and it's all set to go to go inside of the game. All right, let's now switch back over to the game and take a look and see how this brand new resource pack works in the game. Now once you have your custom resource pack for paintings installed, then it's just a matter of placing a painting onto a wall. Let me just show you that real fast. Let's just knock her off of here. And then you may have to click a few times to get the painting that you want. There we go. She was pretty lucky that time because Minecraft is going to be cycling through these. You can see right there it did the same one it's not just one or the other. It goes back and forth. It's kind of random. So if you have several paintings, you may have to go through several times to get the one that you want showing up. But there you go. It's that easy to put these custom paintings inside of Minecraft. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and share. Also, subscribe. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft stuff. And I'll see you next time.